my name is Pixelated Twix. Welcome back to another episode of Dragon Age Origins Ultimate Edition. Modded slightly, slightly modded, just a little bit, not too, too, too much, just a tad. Uh, the last time we left off, um, we just got um, like some devastating news. Um, we almost did not survive the battle at Ostagar. And King Kalen and Duncan did not survive because Tyrion Loghain betrayed us all, quit the field with his his army. Um, and that was the whole reason for us even lighting the beacon was to signal for them to join the battle, as I recall. Um, but we were saved by Flemeth. Now, according to Morgan, uh, Flemeth turned into a big bird and plucked us up off of the tower after being pretty much um, bombarded by Darkspawn. I don't know how true that story is. I have yet to uh, confirm that, but we're just going to go with it. We, we're going to believe Morgan for now. Um, that requires a key, it looks like. All right. So, yeah, we woke up here in their hut. You know, I just realized there's only one bed in here. That is one tiny bed. Do you guys literally sleep? Well, I guess so. That's a big pillow. I suppose you guys do, you know? Hey, mother, daughter. I'm not judging. Let's go. Outside. Go Grey Wilds. See, here is your fellow Grey Warden. You worry too much, young man. You. You're alive. I am. <laughs> I thought you were dead for sure. I thought we were both dead. Um... What should I say here? I'm not, thanks to Morrigan's mother. Yes. Oh, this doesn't seem real. If it weren't for Morrigan's mother, we'd be dead on top of that tower. Do not talk about me as if I am not present, lad. I, I didn't mean... But, but what do we call you? You've, ne you've never told us your name? Names are pretty, but useless. The chastened folk call me Flemeth. I suppose it will do. The Flemeth? From the legends? Daveth was right. You're the Witch of the Wilds, aren't you? And what does that mean? I know a bit of magic, and it has served you both well, has it not? Hmm? Is that a point? Um... So why did you save us? Well, we cannot have all the Grey Wardens dying at once, can we? Someone has to deal with these dark spawn. It has always been the Grey Wardens' duty to unite the lands against the Blight. Or did that change when I wasn't looking? I mean, it's just the two of us, though. Um, let's see. The land is hardly united, thanks to Loghain. That doesn't make any sense. Why would he do it? Now that is a good question. Men's hearts hold shadows darker than any tainted creature. Perhaps he believes the Blight is an army he can outmaneuver. Perhaps he does not see that the evil behind it is the true threat. The Archdemon. Um, what, what is this Archdemon exactly? It is said that long ago, the Maker sent the old gods of the ancient Tevinter Imperium to slumber in prisons deep beneath the surface. An Archdemon is an old god awakened and tainted by Darkspawn. Believe that or not, history says it's a fearsome and immortal thing, and only fools ignore history. Hmm. What could the Tyrion hope to gain by betraying the king? The throne? He's the queen's father. Still, I can't see how he'll get away with murder. You speak as if he would be the first king to gain his throne that way. Grow up, boy. If Al Eamon knew what he did, he would never stand for it. The Landsmeet would never stand for it. There would be civil war. Al Eamon, the Earl of Redcliffe. I suppose. Al Eamon wasn't at Ostagar. He still has all his men. And he was Kalen's uncle. I know him. He's a good man, respected in the Landsmeet. Of course, we could go to Redcliffe and appeal to him for help. Surely there are other allies we could call on. That sounds like an excellent idea. Keep in mind that Loghain was also an honorable man. Was he, though? I feel like if he was, 
Maybe she was referring to things that he'd done in the past. They were honorable. But now, I would not consider him an honorable man. Um, and surely there are other allies we could call on? Of course! The treaties! Grey Wardens can demand aid from dwarves, elves, mages, and other places. They're obligated to help us during a blight. I may be old, but dwarves, elves, mages, this Arl Eamon, and who knows what else. This sounds like an army to me. Yep. So can we do this? Go to Redcliffe and these other places and build an army? Why not? Isn't that what Grey Wardens do? Um, hmm. I doubt it will be as easy as that. I mean, true. Say that. <laughs> and when is it ever? It's always been the Grey Warden's duty to stand against the Blight. And right now, we're the Grey Wardens. So you are set then, ready to be Grey Wardens. <sighs> as ready as we'll ever be. Now, before you go, there is yet one more thing I can offer you. The stew is bubbling, mother dear. Shall we have two guests for the eve? Or none? The Grey Wardens are leaving shortly, girl. And you will be joining them. Such a shame. What? <laughs> you heard me, girl. The last time I looked, you had ears. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh... Thank you, but if Morgan doesn't wish to join us... Her magic will be useful. Even better, she knows the wilds and how to get past the Horde. Have I no say in this? You have been itching to get out of the wilds for years. Here is your chance. As for you, Wardens, consider this repayment for your lives. Well, very well. We'll take her with us. Not to look a gift horse in the mouth, but won't this add to our problems? Out of the wilds, she's an apostate. If you do not wish help from us illegal mages, young man, Perhaps I should have left you on that tower. Point taken. Mother, this is not how I wanted this. I'm not even ready. You must be ready. Alone, these two must unite for Eldon against the Darkspawn. They need you, Morrigan. Without you, they will surely fail, and all will perish under the Blight. Even I. I... understand. And you, Wardens. Do you understand? I give you that which I value above all in this world. I do this because you must succeed. Understood. Allow me to get my things, if you please. I am at your disposal, Grey Wardens. I suggest a village north of the wilds as our first destination. It is not far, and you will find much you need there. Or, if you prefer, I shall simply be your silent guide. The choice is yours. Hmm. Um. No, I prefer you speak your mind. Yes. <laughs> you will regret saying that. <laughs> Dear sweet mother, you are so kind to cast me out like this. How fondly I shall remember this moment. Well, I always said, if you want something done, do it yourself. Or hear about it for a decade or two afterwards. I just... Do you really want to take her along because her mother says so? I mean, we need all the help we can get. Absolutely, we need all the help we can I get. I guess you're right. Yeah. The Grey Wardens have always taken allies where yes. they could find them. Yes. I am so pleased to have your approval. Um. Actually, I have some questions. Let's see. I may have answers. Ask. Are you really Flemeth's daughter? I mean, why would I be... <sighs> how are we going to get past the Darkspawn? Let's ask that. The real question is how we are going to get your friend past the Darkspawn, is it not? That's true. We can sense the Darkspawn. Conversely, they can sense us. That's not reassuring. We should be able to sneak past smaller groups, but larger ones, or particularly intelligent Darkspawn will always detect us. Mother has given me something else for them to smell instead as we pass by. Tis important we head out of the wilds, however, not farther in. Hmm. 
Tell me about this village to the north. It is a small place of little consequence called Lothering. No more than a stop along your imperial highway where travellers purchase goods from local farms and smiths. I would go more often were it not for the town's chantry. It makes the village particularly intolerant and unpleasant for a stranger such as me. A chantry? And they never in all this time thought that maybe you were a witch? Of course they have. They even called out their Templars once. They found nothing. Okay, I have no more questions. Farewell, Mother. Do not forget the stew on the fire. I would hate to return to a burned down hut. Bah! Tis far more likely you will return to see this entire area, along with my hut, swallowed up by the blight. I... All I meant was... Yes, I know. Do try to have fun, dear. They have such a weird relationship. Okay, so we got some approval from Alistair and Morgan. We got a quest update. So we got some new quests here. Uh, we need to seek out Arl Eamon and the Arl at Redcliffe. Alistair thinks that you should seek the help of Eamon Guerin, the Arl of Redcliffe. Arl Eamon is a highly respected noble and has a great deal of influence in the lands meet. Alistair believes that he will certainly aid you once he learns about Loghain's betrayal. Um, a paragon of her kind. Gain Orzammar's aid in battling the Blight. You need to travel deep underground. The fabled dwarven city of Orzammar to earn the trust of her king and dwarven troops for your army. So these are basically um, the main quests here that we need to go to these different areas to get um, help use of their their people for an army nature of the beast gain the corporate cooperation of the dalish clans and the broken circle gather the mages of the circle for your army so yeah these are part of the treaties and then last will and testament you found the cash mentioned in rigby's last will and testament deliver it to jetta in redcliffe to complete rigby's last wish okay so those are the quests that we have we need to head out actually let me before i go let me check morgan's I, uh, what does she have? I did have, let me see, I didn't get that stuff back. I didn't get my staff back. I did. Okay, so she basically has the same staff. What about the robes? I think what she has on is better. All right, let's head out. And I expect each of you to supply these men. We must rebuild what was lost at Ostagar, and quickly. There are those who would take advantage of our weakened state if we let them. We must defeat this Darkspawn incursion, but we must do so sensibly and without hesitation. Your Lordship, if I might speak. You have declared yourself Queen Anora's regent, and claim we must unite under your banner for our own good. But what of the army lost at Ostagar? Your withdrawal was most... fortuitous. Everything I have done has been to secure Ferelden's independence. I have not shirked my duty to the throne, and neither will any of you! The Banorn will not bow to you simply because you demand it. Understand this. I will brook no threat to this nation from you or anyone. Van Tegen, please! Your Majesty. Your father risks civil war. If Eamon were here... Antigon, my father is doing what is best. Did he also do what was best for your husband, Your Majesty? And these are the days of our lives. Wake up, gentlemen. More travelers to attend to. I'd guess the pretty one is the leader. Uh, 
They don't look much like their mothers. You know, uh, maybe we should just let these ones pass. I think he's right. Nonsense. Greetings, travelers. Highwaymen, preying on those fleeing the Darkspawn, I suppose. They are fools to get in our way. I say, teach them a lesson. Now, is that any way to greet someone? A simple ten silvers and you're free to move on. Hmm. Should listen to your friend. Uh, <laughs> you should have listened to your friend. We're not refugees. Well, the game's predicting what I'm going to say. What did I tell you? No wagons, and this one looks armed. The toll applies to everyone, Henrik. That's why it's a toll, and not, say, a refugee tax. Oh, right. Even if you're no refugee, you still got to pay. Mm. Well, get it? I'm not paying. Well, I can't say I'm pleased to hear that. We have rules, you know. Right. We get to ransack your corpse, then. Those are the rules. Uh, you can certainly try. Uh, do you really want to fight a Grey Warden? Ooh, yes. Do you really want she to fight? She said she's a Grey Warden. I did. Them ones killed the king. Greatest mm -hmm. to Ferelden, I hear. Turn Loghain put quite a bounty on any who are found. But are them Grey Wardens good? I mean, really good. Absolutely. Good enough to kill a king? Believe what you, you have heard. a point. Well, let's forget about the toll. We'll just leave you to your darkspawn fighting, king killing ways. Um. Hmm. You know, the Grey Wardens could use a donation. You don't say. They is really good, boss. Remember. Well, yes. 20 silvers? That's all we've collected today. Excellent. Donation? Uh, thank you. Uh, then take it. Uh, do enjoy your stay in Lothering and all that. Okay, new quest. New codex, Lothering, quest updated. Let's see what we got. Um, bandits on the road. Deal with the bandits take, taking advantage of the travelers. Bandits have set up a barricade on the road to Lothering. They are robbing innocent travelers by forcing them to pay a toll. You reveal that you are a Grey Warden and they let you go, afraid to cross you. So... Body. Is that a headless? No, that the body has a head. The Templar Knight's Locket. This golden locket bears within it a tiny painting of a pretty brown haired young woman. It is impossible to tell who the woman might be, but whoever owned the locket was quite fond of her. Okay. And what is this? This crumpled note is written by Sir Henrik, a knight of the Red Cliff. Okay. Take that. It's a fallen Templar. Um, you found the body of a Templar slain by bandits. His corpse has been picked clean of everything, save a note and a locket. Perhaps the locket will mean something to someone back in Lothering. Now, what was I ever? Dogs and Ferelden. Um, was there something regarding this particular? Didn't it give me a note? So many of my fellow knights have been searching for the urn. Surely one of them must have found Brother Janet TV by now. Still, until I hear that is until I hear that all is well, I must proceed as planned. Brother Janet TV holds the key to finding the urn of sacred ashes. We always knew this, but I believe I know now where Brother Janet TV lies. I have been to his home in Dinnerum and found the trail, and I'm amazed that the other knights have not done likewise. Unless they have. No, it is best not to get caught up in the thoughts of conspiracy. Sir Donald awaits my report in Lothering. I must go to him immediately and report what I have learned. Should anyone find these ramblings, all I ask is that he be informed of my fate. I pray that I I pray that he complete what I cannot. A ner a note a note from Sir Henrik of Redcliffe. Okay. So alright, people. Good day to you. It shall be done. Take this. Enemies approaching. Oh. Okay. Now we do battle. Don't It shall be done. <laughs> if we must fight, let us go quickly. 
Oh, let's get you guys. As you say, Oops, I know this. All right, we surrender. We're, we're, we're just trying to get by before the dog spawn get us all. Um, get by? You're a criminal. Yes, I'm a criminal. I admit it. I apologize. Mm hmm. Let's see. Hand over everything you've stolen. Yes, yes, of course. The coins we collected are right here. Uh, just over a hundred silvers. The rest is in the chest we brought. I swear. Okay. Then start running and don't come back. Bless you. The dark spawn can have this place. Alright, the rest of your friends died. Let's see what you've got you on say. you. Fire crystals. I took everything else, right? Or did... Did I? You said... I must have grabbed everything then. Okay. Whatever. Whatever, Trevor. Well, there it is. Lothering. Pretty as a painting. Ah. So you have finally decided to rejoin us, have you? Falling on your blade in grief seemed like too much trouble, I take it. Is my being upset so hard to understand? Have you never lost someone important to you? Just what would you do if your mother died? Before or after I stopped laughing. Right, very creepy. Forget I asked. You have been very quiet, Alistair. Yes, I know. I was just thinking. No wonder it took so long, then. Oh, I get it. This is the part where we're shocked to discover how you've never had a friend your entire life. I can be friendly when I desire to. Alas, desiring to be more intelligent does not make it so. Anyway, I thought we should talk about where we intend to go first. Um, hmm. We should try and use these treaties, I assume. I agree. Have you looked at them? No, I haven't. Not yet. There are three main groups that we have treaties for. The Dalish Elves, the Dwarves of Orzammar, and the Circle of Magi. I also still think that Arleman is our best bet for help. We might even want to go to him first. Okay. Is there a way to contact the Grey Wardens? Short of leaving for Elden to seek them out, the only place to send word to would be Weisalpt Fortress. And that's thousands of miles away. What do you... Hmm... And we need to find these people. I can give you directions, if you like. Yeah, sure. Uh, where do we find Earl Eamon? He'll be at the Castle Redcliffe, in the far western part of Ferelden, next to the mountain passes. If he isn't there, someone will be able to tell us where he is. Where do we find the Dalish Elves? If we head eastward, towards the Brazilian forest, we should hear word of one of the clans that wanders that area. Hopefully, they will still be there. And the dwarves? We would need to speak to their king in Orzammar. That means heading west into the Frostback Mountains, which won't be easy. Mm, where do we find the Circle of Magi? That would be at their tower on Lake Kalenhard to the north. We'll be looking for the first enchanter, whoever that is. Where would Loghain be, exactly? If he isn't out in the field with his army, he's probably going to be at the palace in Denerim. We can go to Denerim, but somehow I suspect that they're not going to let us just walk around. Only a suspicion, of course. You're probably right. I don't need any more directions. Then you have a plan. Uh... Why are you leaving it up to me? Well, I don't know where we should go. I'll do whatever you decide. Now but that is unsurprising. Al Eamon is a good man, but I don't know for sure he's where we should go. I'm not going to fight about it. Okay. What do you think we should do, Morgan? Go after your enemy directly. Find this man, Loghain, and kill him. The rest of this business with the treaties can then be done in safety. Yes, he certainly wouldn't see that coming, and it's not like he has the advantage of an army and experience and... I was asked for my opinion and I gave it. If your wish is to come up with reasons why something cannot be done, we will stand here until the Darkspawn are upon us. 
Alistair has a point, Morgan. It's not like he's un, he's gone unprotected. The man is in a very sec high secure area in the castle, I'm sure. We can't just go in and go after him. Um, but thanks for the suggestion, really. Okay, I'm ready to get going. Fair enough. Let's head into the village whenever you're ready. All right. Into the village we go. Nice, nice, uh... Nice helm, Alistair. Nice helm. Okay. Check out what we can loot over here. A chicken. It is begun. Anybody? Refugees? I refu have a wonder, Alistair, if you will indulge me. Do I have a choice? Of the two of you that remain, are you not the senior Grey Warden here? I was going to say that. I find that. it curious that you allow another to lead while you follow. My you point. You find that curious? Do yes, you? I do In too. In fact, you defer to a new recruit. Is this the policy of the Grey Wardens, or simply a personal one? What do you want to hear? That I prefer to follow? I do. You sound so very defensive. Couldn't you crawl into a bush somewhere and die? <laughs> That would be great. Thanks. All right, guys. Just go get a room, okay? Just get a room. Blank vellum. I need to find out if there's anything I can do with those. If I can just toss them or sell them. That was my point exactly. It when I was going to say that earlier when he deferred to me um, about what we should do. He is like the senior Grey Warden. I just joined the Grey Wardens. He's way more experienced than I am, for sure. Um, I would say that Natalia would have been um, very well protected, kind of gullible, I would think. Naive, maybe, I would say. Not gullible. She's wise for her age. But she's very young. Um, she is supposed to be around 18, 19 years old. But she lived a very protected, protected life. <laughs> Lose your vowels. And she would know nothing of the world. Not really. She would know castle life. And um, she would know how to at least run um, the lands that the Kuslins oversaw. But the world? How to, how to lead an army? How to gather troops together? I, I, I don't see that being something she would know how to do, what the first thing to do. Uh, let's talk to this you guy. You don't look like the other folk fleeing the south. Were you in the battle? What makes you think that? You don't look chastened, so you're not from the wilds. And you're not a farmer. I'd guess you saw some fighting. I mean, could you tell by the gear I'm wearing and all the blood on it? Because that's probably the giveaway. Um, yes, I was with the king's army. I thought them that survived already marched north with the Tairn. You must be a survivor, or a deserter. Lucky you, I guess. I have some questions. Can't promise I'm going to answer them. Okay. Who's in charge of the village? You could talk to the Elder, though she's got her hands full getting everyone on their way. For now, most folks go to Sir Bryant. He's head of the Chantry's Templars. Um, hmm... You don't have a ruling lord? He's gone to war and taken all his soldiers, leaving us to fend for ourselves. There's not going to be much left when he returns, if he returns. Were those bandits always outside the village? Were? You mean they're gone? Yes, I drove them off. Well, goody for you. Now there's no one to drive off the blighted refugees. Sir Brian's will be glad, though. He's been talking about offering a reward for anyone who'd run them out. Can't win it for anything, can we? Um, what's going on here? What isn't? We've got chastened barbarians in every farmholder south of Kalanhard running from the Darkspawn. Not that they'll be safe here with the army gone. All right, well, I should go. Don't let me stop you. He's a jolly fellow, isn't he? Just so welcoming. You there. If you're looking for safe shelter, I'll warn you. There's none to be found. You talking to me? Move on if you can. Lothering's lost. Uh, what do you mean? We've had refugees streaming from the south for the last two days. The Chantry and Tavern are full to bursting. There simply isn't enough food to go around, and we Templars can barely keep order. You'll be you've... better off elsewhere, my friend. You've got beady eyes. 
Um, are you, can I ask a few questions? I'm just out here to keep an eye out for Darkspawn. Please ask someone in town. No offense. Okay. Is there anyone in charge the here? The band has marched north with Terran Loghain, so Lothering's on its own. Most folks look to Elder Miriam. Otherwise, you could speak to Sir Bryant in the Chantry, I suppose. It's up to you. I will do that. What? Who's the Baron? The ban over this town? Anybody else? Refugees? We were lucky. We had the coin to pay the toll to those bandits. Many didn't. They just, if, what happened? Did they just kill him? I guess just like they killed the Templar there. It's just a guess, but I'm thinking everyone in Lothering is aware of the approaching Darkspawn horde. I would say so. I would hope so. Uh, robbed man? Greetings to you, my lady. If it isn't too much to ask, might you be able to spare some bread? Uh, yeah, um, what happened to you? We thought it would be safer in Lothering, that the Terran would bring his soldiers here. But bandits attacked us and took everything. Your elves. Our food, our clothes, my daughter's pet lamb. Nobody cares about a few elves. Can you help us? Hmm. Let's see. I met those bandits and drove them off. That's wonderful news. Perhaps our belongings are still there. Ooh. I can't thank you enough, friend. Even if we don't get everything back, it's it's good to know others will be safe. I, I don't think it's... Anybody else going to tell them? Because I just looted all the stuff over there. Okay, this is a gift. So you can give gifts to your companions to... Um, I guess I should explain to, the, to those of you who are watching that maybe aren't familiar with this game. So you gain... Um, rep i guess with your companion so this right here shows what um your current level of approval with your companions and um it goes up and down depending on what decisions you make how they react to um maybe how you how how you've answered a question or a conversation that you've had um and so it goes from hated to loved and you can either level it up organically by the gameplay or you can cheat it up a little bit I guess by using gifts um, and certain gifts are specifically for certain companions you just kind of have to figure it out or you can use mods to do it I'm just gonna go wing it um, I'm not gonna use any mods or anything to tell me who 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 takes what um, I like to do it that way. Right. Oh, look at the little puppy. Hi, puppy. He looks so cute. Hello, little boy. Have you seen my mother? No, I haven't seen your mother. Beat it, kid. No, I would never say that. That depends. Who is your mother? She's really tall. And she has red hair. We live on a big farm hold, all of us. Aww. Some main men with swords came. A mother told me to run to the village as fast as I could, so I did. She said she'd be right behind me, but I've been waiting and waiting, and I can't see her. Oh, oh he's so cute. Um, hmm. You know where your father is? He went with William to the neighbors yesterday, but he didn't come back. Oh, boy. Yeah, he's probably dead. Uh, I'm not going to tell him that, though. Um, well, come with me, and I'll uh, help you find your mother. Mother said I wasn't to go with anyone. I'm supposed to wait for her here, in the village. Okay. Go to the Chantry, child. Someone will look after you. Yes, that'll probably will, be the safest. but only if I don't find mother first. No, 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 You're no. You're a really nice lady. Kind of like mother. I should go look for her. You should go to the chantry like I told you to. Yeah. Okay. I'm just looting these people's, you know, stuff. It shall just be done. Stuff's laying around. I'm like, oh, this is mine. Barrel. 
back off. Oh. I have the right to charge what I wish. Oops. You profit from their misfortune. I should have the Templars give away everything in your carts. You wouldn't dare. Any of you step too close to my goods and I'll... It's so nice to see everyone working together in a crisis. Isn't it? Warms the heart. Yes. Oh, you there. You look able. Would you care to make a tiny profit helping a beleaguered businessman? Why would I want to help you? Didn't I mention profit? He is charging outlandish prices for things people desperately need. Their blood is filling his pockets. Tis only survival of the fittest. All of these Cretans would do the same in his shoes, given the chance. I have limited supplies. The people decide what those supplies are worth to them. You bought most of your wares from these very people last week. Now they flee for their lives, and you want to talk business? Look, stranger, I have a hundred silvers if you drive this rabble off, starting with that priest. I'm an honest merchant, nothing more. First of all, Morgan is heartless as all I get out. Let's just start there. Secondly, uh... You don't think you're being unscrupulous? Would it help these folks if they could buy no goods at all? They spend their very last coin because they are desperate. And this man preys upon them as surely as the bandits outside the city. Ah, I'm not arguing anymore. Drive off this woman and get your hundred silvers. Otherwise, I'm taking my wagon and leaving. Hmm. Lower your prices or lose your goods. Persuade. I think you can compromise and still make a profit, no? Yeah, I'll use that. Persuade. Perhaps. If that woman agrees, I'm allowed to charge something. Do what you must. So long as the prices do not beggar the needy. Fine, fine, done. And since you don't look too needy, normal prices for you. I thank you, so, I appreciate it. we have come to solve every squabble in the village personally. Yes, Morgan. Mm -hmm. My, but the Darkspawn will be impressed. Thank you for your generous assistance. May the Maker watch over your path. See? Total disapproval just because she... Can I, can I loot this now? It shall be done. Yeah, just absolute disapproval. I shall do it. That's fine. She's going to hate me probably by the end of this game. I am okay with that. Now, um, what was I going to say? Anyways, let's talk to him. <laughs> Don't suppose you're looking to buy something. I mean, sure. All right. Just don't buy everything up. Do what I want. All right. Um, I do need a few things. Let's see what you got. Oh, you're rich for my blood. Absolutely not. Wine. That's a gift. I'll take that. Um, what do I need? Freeze bomb recipe. I could use some of these things here. Toxin extract. I could use that. Grab that. Um, I, ooh, you know what I could use? And you don't have them. Okay. All right. Um, let me use, you know, let's sell a couple things. Let's see. Get rid of these. Yes. I don't want to sell. I don't, ah. Uh, see. If I can get rid of. Iron dagger versus a gray iron? Okay, we'll just get rid of those. Get rid of that. Um, magic staff, we'll get rid of two. All right, sorry about that. I know this is boring. Small shield, definitely getting rid of that. Get rid of that. Warden recruit shield. Is that better than what Alistair has? Let's see. Alistair, what do you got, buddy? Uh, slightly, yes. What about the Kooslins? We're going to give you this. Wait, the Templar. And the, okay, yeah, let's give Alistair the Templar shield all right alistair you get new stuff that and ooh, that looks 
What about the Templar? What does the Coastland Shield look like? I, I like the way that looks. Templar Shield? Like that. Alright, let's just give you this. Um, and I think that's about it. Oh, what is this? Willpower. We'll give this to Morgan. Huh. Don't suppose you're looking to buy something. Yeah. All right. Just don't buy everything up. I'm not. I'm just going to sell stuff. All right. I just want to get rid of this. And then I think that's all I want to get rid of for now. Wait. Get rid of one boot. Um. Get rid of that. All right. We're done. Okay. Oh, the chantry board. We found yes, someone sleeping in our field. The in the hay. Of mankind as well as a few coppers. All right, let's see what we got. Bandits, bandits everywhere. Bandits, bandits in the chair. As transcribed on behalf of Sir Bryant Templar, defender of the faith, you know, know that all those who prey upon refugees do so under pain of death. The maker spurs spurns bandits and their kind the templars offer a sizable reward for the apprehension or execution of the bandit leaders plying their trade in the northern wood and roads beware the bandits are numerous and considerable and of considerable skill only a well-armed and well-trained party should brave the deep wood we pray for the success of anyone who undertakes this mission Residents of good standing and passing travelers have indicated there are three bandit groups in the northern wood. This humble chanter would echo Sir Brian's caution. Lest you wind up another victim in to these evil men. The reward for such service is three sovereigns. May the maker look after his children in our hour of need. I'll go ahead and take that. Uh, because I do believe that we have uh, rid... Every one of the bandits who talked to this guy. And I lean spoke unto the masses. My hearth is yours. My bread is yours. My life is yours. For all who walk in the sight of the maker are one. Greetings. <laughs> okay. That was awkward. Uh, now back. Let all repeat the chant of light. Only the word dispels the darkness upon us. He can't answer you. He's chanted Devons. Oh, okay. Yeah, what's a chanter? One of them that can only say the chant of light. His board has letters of good deeds to be doing. My father fixed Widow Allison's roof once, and the charter paid him, he did. A learned child is a blessing upon his parents and onto the maker. So is the kid like your interpreter or something, or he's just hanging out? Uh, so if I want to thatch to that one of the, the thatch a roof, I talk to him. Oh, it's like a vow of silence then. He can can't talk normally. Unless it's the chant of light. No. And so Rajmael in the heathen temple recanted. Speak only the word. Sing only the chant. Then the golden city is thine, spoke Andraste. The maker is a righteous butt. Anything to say to that? <laughs> I don't think she would say that. Um, have anything of interest on the board? Blessed are the peacekeepers, champions of the just. Your king is sick. Quest up to Fallen no Templar, which we did. Chanter's board helped the chanter. You came across the chanter's board in Lotharine. Um, okay. Chanter Devon is in charge of the board, which he fills with the villagers' requests for help. Perhaps he'll be able to help the village with some of uh, its troubles. What's What else is on here? Nothing. Nothing else is on here. All right. Refugee. What you got over here? The legions of evil are on your doorstep. They will feast upon our hearts. There is nowhere to run. This evil will cover the world like a plague of locusts. Please, you're scaring the children. Better to slit their throats now than let them suffer at wow. dark spawn hands. There, one of their minions is already amongst us. 
This woman bears their evil stench. Can you not see the vile blackness that fills her? Ah. Uh, why don't you keep your voice down? I watch the black heart descend on my people. I will not be silent. Please stop. Somebody shut his mouth. But isn't he right? The ban left us. We're going to die. This minion is but the first of those who will destroy us! That's enough. This ends now. You poor man, what happened to you? Ah. <sighs> Let's be gracious. What happened to you? My family. My clan. Those creatures butchered them all. Some of us fled here. But we cannot escape the dog spawn! It must have been horrible. How did you escape? I... I ran. Hearing my wife's screams as they dragged her off. She had hair the same color as yours. I'm sorry for your loss. Why am I here? I still know how to go. <laughs> he was right, wasn't he? There's no hope for us. There's always hope. Siempre hay esperanza. Um, muster your courage. You're right. We can't give up. But we can't fight. What are we supposed to do? We can't lie down and die either. We must go north to Denerim. The evil shall descend upon us! Achievement! Persuasive. Is he still over there yapping? Where's he at? Okay. Loot this. It is begun. Where did he go? Mm. Star Marin? Is that your name? Ma Maven? Marin? Marin. If you seek refuge in the Chantry, there's simply no room left. Uh. You're closed? We turn none aside, but we, we simply don't have room for anyone to sleep. Priests are within if you seek to offer devotion to the Maker, however. May he protect us all. May he protect us all. Oh, who's in charge with the Chantry? The Revered Mother runs the Chantry itself, and Sir Bryant heads the Templars stationed here. Okay. Did you know there were bandits on the highway? Were? Did you drive them off? Well, Sir Bryant will appreciate that. Okay. Have you heard any news? Not since Terran Loghain passed by with his army. It's a shame about the King. But with the Darkspawn coming, few can think of anything else. Bye. Make her watch over you. Oh, he came through. Hmm. Too bad I missed him. All right. So just to give you a little back, back background on Chantry, um, I so my lore uh, knowledge uh, Dragon Age, of Dragon Age is is minimal, but it's a minimum necessary kind of thing. I know a little bit about a lot, but in this case with Chantry business, women tend to lead. Um, the Chantry, they tend to be in charge and then the men kind of follow suit. That's just the way it goes. So the Chantry kind of works like the Catholic Church um, does in real life. And um, so there's the people are very devout. There are some who are not. There are some that actually absolutely hate the Chantry. The Templars fall within the Chantry. They kind of uh, do Chantry business and they also keep mages in line. So uh, that's why you see Templars kind of hanging out, hanging about. So that's just like the, the, the TLDR, you know. All right. See who's in here to chat with. Who are you guys? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? I hear those bandits are back again. Why don't the Templars kill them? Oh, uh, well, I There's took care of them. There's dark stragglers, but no sign of the main horde. We are the only hope of protection this village oh, has he's now, happy. and I will not abandon them. That is all. May the Maker have mercy on us. Well, hello, hello, Sir Bryant. Yes, my lady. Who might you be? Uh, I am Grey Warden Natalia. I see. I am Sir Bryant, commander of the Lothering nice Templars. Chaps. Tan Loghain declared all Grey Wardens traitors responsible for the King's death. You know this, I hope. The Grey Wardens did no such thing. I don't believe the Grey Wardens would be as careless or malicious as the Tan claims. But either way, 
There it is. It is best you not linger, though. Just in case. Of course. Um... Are you in charge here? The revered mother leads this flock. I merely command her Templars. Normally, our role is to protect the Chantry and seek out unsanctioned magic. For now, it is all we can do to protect the innocent. Of course. Um... Ooh, let's see, are you the only protection this village has? Our ban was summoned by Tan Loghain, and he took his soldiers north with him. Lothering has been abandoned. Where would I find the Revered Mother? In her study, no doubt. Preparing what she will take when we eventually evacuate. Okay. I should go. Travel safely, and may the Maker watch over you. I thought I was supposed to tell him about the... Let me, can we talk about again? Greetings, Grey Warden. What can I do for you? Um, about those bandits outside the village, yeah. Maker's breath. How many times must we drive them off? No, um... One less. I drove them off myself. Indeed? They're gone? Yes. It's true. I saw the bastard running for the hills myself. That's an impressive feat indeed. Will you accept a small reward for your efforts? Ooh. Oh, gosh. Hmm. I, I, oof, I could. I need the money. We need the money. I feel bad, but we do. I could keep an eye out for, tr for the right pay. No need. Your thanks is enough. I mean, hmm. No need. Ugh. That is very generous of you. If it interests you, there is a chanter's board outside full of quests that need doing. The chanters even offer pay for some of them. Now, unless there's something else you need. I need... Things, very, uh, things are very dire in the village. They are. With the ban having taken his men north, the village is left to its fate. We will evacuate as many as we can before the horde reaches us. I will stay as long as I am needed. Now, unless there's something else you need. I need information. If the matter is important, certainly. Let's see. Have you heard any recent news? Other than the Darkspawn Horde bearing down on us, none of it is good. Tern Loghain is set to declare himself king, I hear. Disaster piled on disaster. And so the real MO comes out. King Kaelin had no heir. None that we know of. Tern Loghain has no legitimate claim on the throne. He may be a hero, and his daughter may be queen, but he is a commoner, and the king's corpse is barely cold. If Arl Eamon was able to intervene, perhaps it would not have gone this far. I do not care who takes the throne. Only fools fight over who owns a cottage while it burns down around them. Hmm. You said if. Arl Eamon could. What is wrong with Arl Eamon? Arl Eamon has fallen ill, and his knights are on a quest for the sacred urn filled with Andraste's ashes, said to cure any malady. He must be very ill if they chase miracles as the only cure. One of the Arl's knights, Sir Donal, is here searching for fantasies while... Never mind. Ask him if you care about this foolishness. Oh, yes, I could... Is there any other help you could offer? I cannot openly help you, I fear, but here, take this key. It opens the large cabinet on the far wall. There is more there than we can carry when we evacuate, so take what you need. Thank you. I should go. Travel safely, and may the Maker watch over you. Wakanda forever. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Um. Oh, look at this. That XP. First Blight, Chapter 1. Maybe I'll read some of those. I feel like I should do like a separate, um, like a separate reading of some of the codices, maybe? I don't know. We'll see. Sir Donald. Ooh. I beg your pardon. I did not see you approach. Sir Donald? Is that oh, yeah. you? Do you know each Hester? other? By the maker, how are you? I, I was certain you were dead. Not yet. No thanks to turn Loghain. If Arl Eamon were well, he'd set Loghain straight soon enough. So you're here looking for the Urn of Sacred Ashes, then? I am indeed. Andraste's ashes are said to cure any illness. But I fear we are chasing a fable. 
but each day my hope dims. Shouldn't you be fleeing the darkspawn? My mission takes priority, but I fear I shall be returning to Redcliffe with nothing to show for my efforts. I was hoping to meet uh, Arl Eamon, in fact. Why is that, if I may ask? Ah, uh, we need his help against the... Uh, let's see. I mean, I guess, yeah, we do need his help against Tyrion Loghain. I see. The Arl is a popular man, it's true. Tern Loghain, however, is a hero throughout Ferelden. Whatever the Tern has done or not done, the Arl remains ill or worse. That is my primary concern. Yes, of course. Hmm. Is there any point in going to Redcliffe? I mean, we're going to have to go either way, so... Do you have any advice? If Arl Eamon were well, I have little doubt he would assist you. My quest, however, remains the same. We should see what's happening in Redcliffe ourselves. I believe that now more than ever. If nothing else, I am certain you would be welcomed at Castle Redcliffe. The Arlesa is there, and she could tell you more than I could. So your quest for the Ashes brought you here? I expect you to take advantage of the Chantry's library, in fact. But my skills are better suited to battle than chasing down tales. Tell me more of this urn of sacred ashes. Supposedly, the urn contains the ashes of the prophetess Andraste. Surely you know all this. I'd like to hear what you've learned. If you're truly interested, there are books here containing a great deal of lore. Nothing I have found leads me to believe that this was anything more than a quest of desperation. I intend to return to Redcliffe soon and tell the Arlesa exactly that once Sir Henrik arrives. Who is Sir Henrik? Wait a minute. Oh. My fellow knight and traveling companion. He is delayed, though. Ah, oh, that guy. Ah, yeah. About that. Your friend is dead. What? Ooh. And you have his locket? And a note? Maker's mercy. Thank you for giving me these. I would never have known otherwise. Yeah. Sorry, um, yeah, I'm sorry about your friend. Thank you. I wonder how many of us have met similar fates on this mad quest. Uh, I should go. With Henrik gone, I need to return to Redcliffe. Perhaps later I will seek out the scholar his note mentions. But I must go. Thank you again, my lady. You have been most helpful. Of course. Okay, quest complete. Um, what that must have been for Sir Henrik. Um, and when the maker spoke, a chant of light scattered in the darkness. wonder if that's an accurate Word likeness of Andraste. Maybe she was Let ugly. Those who cry Maybe out she had butt teeth. How will Let we know? Those who seek redemption what, what, be delivered. What likeness? But those who have sinned be forgiven. This, these two? The what, what is he talking about? All four corners of the world. Let it rise at last to the ears of the maker. Thank let him hear our unwavering f Okay, thank you. Maker, I needed those. Let him hear our righteous dedication and enduring perseverance. Hello, la la uh, la ladies, sirs. And then shall the maker return you, the Miss, what is your name? You seem quite odd to me. What? You would not be the first to think oh, so, talking to but avert your eyes. I will not have you staring over long. Best get used to it. I'll be watching you. We want no trouble here. Let all mankind hmm, be they know you're uh, chased. Or again. Oh, this pile of books. It is begun. Anything over here? Talk to Reverend Mother. Hello. Will you be making a donation to the Chantry, my friend? Ah. You look like you have salvaged more of value than most who make it here. Ooh. A tithe is acceptable. Might I suggest 30 silver? Ooh, how about some a little less than that? How about, um... Oh, silver? Ugh, I can't give you sovereign. I'll give you 30 silver. I can make it Thank you, dear woman. What can I do for you, then? Oh, uh, I had a... F bleh. I'm... I was... Ooh, what am I asking for? I am a Grey Warden. I need your help. A Grey Warden? Here? Yes, here. Oh dear. You oh put yeah. me in a difficult position. You must know that Tern Loghain declared the Grey Wardens to be outlaws. So I've heard. Oh, so I've heard, but it, it is Loghain who betrayed the king. Uh, I have you know. 
Ten Logain? That is as hard for me to believe as his condemnation of the Wardens. There is a price on your head. Lay low, and I promise to keep your presence a secret. Well, that you. is the best I can do. Now, if there is nothing else... Mm. Can you provide any help to the Grey Wardens at all? I cannot help you without risking the safety of this village enchantry. Okay. The best I can do is keep your presence a secret. I am sorry. No, now, if there is nothing else... What about your blessing? For a Grey Warden? Yes, you have a difficult road to walk, don't you? I do. We do. In Andraste's name, I call upon the Maker to watch over his child and creation. Watch over her path, O Maker. Yeah. Give her light That's and darkness. That's a cool shot. So Thank let you. it be. Now, if there is nothing else... No, ma'am, there is nothing else. May the Maker guard you, Grey Warden. Thank you. Okay. Let's uh, see what else we can loot before we head out. Those who have sinned, be forgiven. This lady. It's terrible. So many come to Lothering seeking refuge, only to find that we can offer little more than prayer. Does the Maker see our plight? Is he moved by this destruction? I, I apologize. Oh, damn. The Maker's plan is too grand for me to fathom, especially at times like this. What are the priests chanting exactly? The chant of light. Surely you know it. I... She would know it, wouldn't she? Um... I've never heard it sung quite like this. Now that might be true. Perhaps you haven't heard these verses before. The entire chant takes weeks to sing and is only done straight through at the Grand Cathedral in Val Royo. Here we can only sing a few verses per week and finish anew each first day. Okay. Well, I should go. I don't have time. May the Maker watch over you. He was angry. Um, is there anybody else I can talk to? Let's talk to this sister. I'm sorry, but I must prepare the Chantry's vestments before okay. we flee. There is very little time. Then shall the Maker okay. return to us. And then shall the Maker of Black Fox? Kind of feel bad robbing these people. But uh, we just gave you guys some sovereign, not sovereign, but silver. Let's head oh, Sir Donald left. He was out. Okay. And that uh, being said that we have been recording for over an hour, I'm thinking we're going to go ahead and stop here. The next time um, we will go ahead and check out through the rest of the village, see what else we can get into. Perhaps uh, get some of these quests done. I think we just had like one. Did, did we have any quests? Okay, so far we have nothing. Okay. So yeah, we're just going to go ahead and finish exploring the village and see what else is going on and go on from there. So again, I hope you guys are enjoying these episodes. And please let me know what you think so far of the game. Um... And yeah, that's it. All right, guys. Thank you again for watching. I appreciate it. And I hope that you have a great day, great afternoon, great evening.